So with the luck of the C2, I think now he's going to be hoping to perhaps fish up a really strong bow. And he's hoping that he's going to be hidden enough from sight that nobody's going to be bothering him. The floating islands around here is where it's at, but he's got to be careful to not fish under one of the islands. It's going to be it's going to be reduce it's going to reduce the effectiveness of his fishing. Repulse finding more gold. Timon, the mole, survived an encounter with BBR, who just basically actually let him go, decided it wasn't worth chasing him. Maybe that uh, that encounter helps Timon establish himself as a trustworthy person. Someone just died and I missed it, and Scrib was slain by Michael. How was how was I not noticing this? This was, was this all this was so well detailed. You're gonna have to go see the two episodes to see uh, Michael's good. Uh, Michael, his kill? Uh, I'm thinking he was heavily outgearing out uh, the opposition in this one, because we already know he was a half-diamond already. Antibama just getting pwned by a skill. Here's a Merrick. Your favorite mole. Does his team suspect him? I don't know. Does uh, Timon's team suspect him? I don't know. But he knows how to deal with creepers. Kano has found a mineshaft. Okay, that's not a mineshaft. Uh, every time you find a cobweb like that, it detects a mineshaft. Is that it? Tasty is getting wrecked by a skeleton. Like, a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot of wreckedness. And maybe uh, the strategy for him is going to be uh, draining the team of healing. It can work sometimes. It can work. But at the moment, the Liv and uh, Ripper Steve actually are lower in health. Lenboy has managed to uh, come back with the rest of the group. He's got half diamond and uh, the mole. He's in a position to do a lot of, uh, of damage to the team, especially if he steals the uh, enchantment table that Cass has made. I know that I do recall that Len already has his own. I'm just a little bit surprised that he managed to... Uh, and he's got a, a, a iron sword for show and a secret sharp too. Uh, he's uh, going to be waiting to create himself a power three. And is that a poison potion I saw? I do believe it was. I think uh, Lenboy is going to be... I think uh, Orange Team is in a bad position to win because Len should be able to do a lot of damage before going down. Going to be a tough one for them. Uh, but still, even despite how well Lenboy is doing, it's still an uphill battle for the moles in general. Uh, Lenboy telling his team that he's in a uh, good position. Rick making a diamond sword. If, uh, and, and of course, they probably don't know. I don't know if uh, Venny made the mistake of saying he was the mole before uh, logging off. Because it could make things a little boring for, for Yellow Team. They should not know for sure that Venny was the mole. It would be a. He shouldn't say like definitively that he wasn't the mole. Like he can't. He probably shouldn't. Oh wait, hold on. Jamie and Fukano are fighting somewhere. Things are looking bad for Jamie, and I don't think he can count on Emmerich to come and save him. I don't think. I do recall that uh, Sid Garcia and Greeples are are not in a. Uh, in a situation where they can come help him. So he's going to have to take his stumpy little legs and run. Uh, Michael has found Ripper Steve and Bliv. Uh, Bliv was slain by M Michael. Did he slay? Who else did he slay? Did he actually manage to get Ripper Steve as well? Ha he actually did. 
he actually did. Okay, well now everyone's dead to Michael. <laughs> uh, now that this is the case, I need to uh, find Jamie. And Jamie's dead. Jamie's dead. Lenboy got the kill. That might make him look uh, more trustworthy to his team. He actually got the kill uh, with uh, the regular iron sword, not with the secret diamond sword. So his cover is still... Uh, his cover is still maintained. But, um, wow, uh, Michael actually killed all of Red Team. Tasty. All Tasty has to do now is actually get rid of Johnny and find a way to get there with the rest of the moles. But Tasty has got to find a way to betray Johnny. And it depends on what they say with the, the death messages. Again, if they confirm... If Ripper and Oblivion are adamant that they were not the mole, then it's going to make things very simple for Johnny and uh, and Tasty. And they're going to like meet, meet up and just uh, kill each other. Tasty take getting apples the long way. Let's um let's check out the stronghold that Craftinator has decided to find. Is it a stronghold? That doesn't that's not really a not really a stronghold. Not really. But he's getting uh, all that uh, all that coal cyanol. Daring. Daring Cyanel, up on the surface, he's seen all these messages. He doesn't know, actually, that uh, Michael has killed everyone in a mineshaft. Um, well, everyone. He's killed a, a duo in a mineshaft. Uh, one of which, you could argue, is uh, the best player in the game. And Michael's still in great health after all this. anti has crafted an anvil. So there's some coordination happening within this, this team still. Greeple's in a village uh, gathering all the stuff. I think uh, they're grieving uh, they're grieving Jamie probably. And that's of course uh, Sid who uh, just safely smelting everything. Could be Iron Man this season. Wow. Could be the Iron Man. Little chance. Emeric, uh, what, what's, what's this? Did he just heal? What's going on? What are all these potions of slowness? My goodness. My goodness, Emeric. Simon getting uh, pwned by a skeleton. Obama getting the bow. And this team here is uh, consolidating their stuff. I'm not sure if they know that they no longer have a mole. They're exhibiting the behavior of a team that is now extremely com comfortable and is not really suspecting anybody. So I think uh, I think maybe Venny told them. Maybe Venny told them. Came clean. But uh, if that's the case, they might end up going on the hunt very soon and doing so with uh, a, a rather alarming amount of confidence in their own teammates uh, allowing them to uh, have a lot of team chemistry in uh, team fights because they'll be completely willing to coordinate as much as they can uh, tasty still looking for apples the slow way Could probably make an axe to be a little faster it's gonna be a little faster make an axe let it let the, let all these spawn and then and then you know hurry back uh, he's looking for how many how many apples is he looking for just one more just one more apple all right there's a Merrick still exploring hoping to find all the diamonds so that he can be in a, like a pier in full diamond to his team 
Got another supply drop. It doesn't look like any teams are really running after the supply drops by the looks of it. Everyone seems to be doing okay with the food. It's uh, a situation that is not quite uh, the same, you know, as as uh, as usual. Not business as usual with the food, but the players, for the most part, have taken many precautions. And so they don't have to actually, like, hunt down every single cow and kill every single one. They're still pretty confident. But here they are, yellow team, as expected, going off to hunt uh, rather early. I don't know if they're going to find anything at 0-0 at this point because I don't think there's any other team that is uh, this close to being ready. However, orange team, by and large, a lot, uh, many... Uh, Many elements of orange team uh, were on the surface when they were gathering uh, stuff and reuniting just a little bit earlier. Uh, I think they're no longer there. But they were in this area right ahead. I don't think they're there anymore, but that's where they spotted Jamie. And uh, chased him down and, of course, uh, did him in. Yeah, nobody, nobody in the area. Craft, yeah, Craft has moved so far away actually now that uh, I suppose it's not very likely that they found the rest. Now in uh, pro move and pro mole moves, Len decided to suffocate himself, probably to uh, you know to look uh, less dangerous to his teammates. Try to deflect. <laughs> that was probably intentional. Len would of course never accidentally suffocate himself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Skylord with more diamonds is at a total, imagine this, of 31 in this game. So you can uh, you can guess that uh, he's not he's not scared of the mole anymore. He's not scared of the mole anymore. And Emeric has been uh, gathering, uh, you know, uh, his fair share of diamonds as well. Michael on the surface, uh, but safely... Oh my goodness, he's chasing... Is he chasing Sid and... Oh, they don't know. They don't know. Michael, no. Don't do it. You're a monster. You sicken me. You're disgusting. You're, you're, you're just a... Uh, you're a sad, sad, disgusting human being. No, you have no friends. Nobody likes you. You're, you. you're gross. You are immoral. You are a monster. You have no soul. You're basically a ginger. How dare you? How dare you? How very dare you? How could you do that? I mean, if you see Sid like that, instead of, like, attacking like a coward like this, you have to type in chat, Hi, Sid. How are you doing, Sid? And then, then let him turn around and notice you. Sick degenerate. I'm, uh, I'm not pleased with this turn of events. What kind of person kills Sid? How could you? How could you? Well, Greeple's, uh, made uh, good on his escape. Diana's uh, roller coastering. The friendliest roller coaster of the year. Shut up, Brick. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, running around with the rest of his team. I would, uh, not hate it if, uh, they found, uh, Michael. Maybe a team of four could do something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Michael, that was not nice. Was, nobody's, you know, everyone's rooting against Michael now. Because that's, that's what happens when you kill Sid. You just reveal yourself to be completely morally bankrupt. That's what happens. You just betray yourself like that. Just uh, a person who uh, has uh, no redeeming qualities. By the way, this is the scene of the crime right here. Of course, uh, Sid doesn't have any you know, loot that is really worth sifting through. I think they saw the death lightning and decided to run after it. They're figuring... If we can find Michael, and they're hoping they can, 
then perhaps they can change everything. Maybe they can change everything. You got Jamie right here, who is uh, spectating. But are they going in the correct direction to try and find Michael? I Maybe they are. Maybe they'll find uh, Greeples instead. Who knows? Uh, but one thing for sure, everyone unanimously is uh, rooting for the quick, painful, and humiliating death of Michael. That's basically how it is. BBR running over the spectator unknowingly. Uh, usually not the kind of uh, man who would fall behind his team here. Maybe he saw maybe he saw the loot pile and decided to have a look. Just uh, maybe grab some of the food. Who knows? But the other three are on the lookout, and I don't know if they're gonna be finding what they're looking for. I just don't know. Now, uh, apologies if uh, like my. Uh, my highlight, my player... Oh, yeah, they have found him. They have found someone in green, and that's probably Michael. Uh, but only two of them has found him. No, that's not Michael. That's Antibama. Antibama will likely uh, be asking for help. He's managed to recruit a little army of, uh, of dogs. We've got another player from... Uh, that's probably Greeples down there. That's probably where he hid. I'm gonna surmise. I don't want to go verify right now because we've got a chase going. Antibama running for his life from Brick. I think he's managed to lose the rest of the team, which is uh, his chance. Most of the yellow team has uh, been drawn out, unable to, uh, you know, to follow. Antibama going to pass the loot pile that I think just despawned in front of our eyes. And uh, trying to f fend off Brick. I'm not sure if that was the best idea, but he's decided I'm, I can't run anymore. I gotta make a stand. And decided, nope, I can actually run a little more. Because his chance, of course, is to try and coordinate with Michael so that he can have a, a bit of a helping hand here. And, uh, Michael is going to have to return to the scene of the despicable, despicable, inhumane crime. And, uh, yeah, now at this point, he's got the full four, uh, yellow on his back. I think... If he hadn't uh, stopped to f to shoot a few arrows, I don't think he would have. Uh, I think he would have uh, managed to have a better chance of getting away. Actually, amazingly, going back after the spectator, he's uh, running circles. So clearly, he's asking for his team for help, and I don't see any of them showing up. That doesn't mean none of them are trying to show up. But none of them are showing up. Timon, of course, is the mole on green team. So he probably won't be lifting much of a finger. But so long as he uh, successfully pretends that he is. And Tibama is still on the run. Most of his dogs have been killed. Only one remains. And that one dog, uh, that one pupper... Uh, I mean, he's a good little pupper, but I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's gonna be able to do much. The little arrow flying by, grazing by his ear, the whistling sounds, uh, terror, bringing flashes of existence, existence. Now he's, uh, I, I don't know how he can get away from, oh, okay, he did manage to find Dom. Dom is here, so now it's a four on two. Their back is against the wall, literally. There's a ravine right there. Oh, not just actually. Who else is here? That's Michael. So it's uh, it's a four on three, and uh, yellow is not liking uh, the blue that they see on Michael's back. That's the end of the episode three. 
We'll see you in episode four. Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.